Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just recently had a leak for the upcoming Echo show that everybody and their mother is not excited about. And the leak is pretty damning, to be honest with you. A lot of people are trashing this show, rightfully so, but a lot of them are trashing this show because of the choreography in the scene, the fight scene between her and Daredevil. And it, it really is quite bad. So let's get into this article, guys, from Fandom Pulse. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm so the headline reads leak of marvel's echo and daredevil fight scene from disney plus show leaves fans shocked and dismayed yes and that is 100 percent true if you look at twitter and you see like the quote tweets on that on that little clip it really is quite bad just how like just the choreography is not being sold at all but that's just a disney thing right now right like they they don't want to invest money into selling the scene anymore they want you to believe that this woman right here who is disabled is also beating up a man twice her size who is also disabled it just, it just it's a crazy story but again it, it goes to show that you know what this is where we're at with Disney. We can't expect to be shocked anymore. You're going to have the girl boss moments. They're going to come no matter what. And it's just something that we have to accept, right? We could just ridicule it and move on. Because if you're if you're watching this in the hopes of getting quality entertainment, I got really bad news for you. So it says a hand recorded clip of the new Marvel miniseries Echo posted on X, which shows a fight scene between Echo and Daredevil has left fans shocked. The new Marvel miniseries Echo is scheduled to air on Disney Plus on January 9, 2024. A short synopsis on Rotten Tomatoes of the TV series reads, Maya Lopez's ruthless behavior in New York City catches up with her in her hometown. She must face her past, reconnect with her Native American roots, and embrace the meaning of family and community. The Marvel miniseries was created by Marion Dare, and the cinematographers are Kira Kelly and Magdalena Gorka. Twitter exploded on Tuesday when X users tweeted a short clip of a teaser for the new Marvel miniseries Echo. Among others, X user Matt tweeted, Holy crap, Daredevil fight scene in Echo. I feel like Daredevil is one of those characters now where they're just using it to try to bolster other characters that nobody cares about. You know, like Daredevil was put in She-Hulk to bolster She-Hulk because we already knew that they were going to ruin She-Hulk. Now they're putting him in Echo in the hopes that people are going to watch just for this fight scene. I guarantee you this leak was probably done by them to get people hyped to watch a show so they can see the fight scene actually play out on their own television series. Because they know nobody's going to watch Echo. They know like Echo is going to bomb tremendously and they're going to try to use the viewership of the one first week that it's out and all the episodes combined to try to showcase a higher viewership number. But let's be real. Once you break it down episode by episode, it's going to be pathetic and it's not going to do well at all. So I really do feel like they leaked this on purpose. I think they felt like if they put it out there, people are going to be excited about daredevil and they're going to want to watch the show just for daredevil and they're trying to bait and switch you into watching echo it just it really is what it is i'm not going to play the clip just because people are getting copyrighted like crazy if you want to go watch the clip it is literally all over twitter it says fans are clearly not impressed and express their frustration on x user w9 lapras posted i'm sorry but that looks so ass the clip shows echo and daredevil fighting throwing kicks punches and baton strikes which are so far off the mark with the movement so slow it is hardly a credible fight scene for anyone watching user broken deity posted i like the fight choreography but it's missing impact you can clearly see the lack of impact there's like a delay too still gonna watch though and you know what that actually goes into the whole choreography as a whole being terrible all across the board in hollywood right now because if you look let's bring up rings of power for example those fight scenes with galadriel can you tell me that they were anywhere close to believable anywhere like literally in any scenario was it close to believable even if she's an elf and she's magical and she's powerful whatever the case may be this woman literally <laughs> like it was missing the impact like that, that's actually a good way to put it it was missing the impact from the actual fight scene itself and if you don't sell that impact nobody's gonna believe what's happening on screen and this is a prime example of it like, like i said earlier you have a 120 pound female right here trying to beat up this dude who is a master martial artist who has literal weapons and somehow some way she is keeping toe-to-toe -to -toe with him it just it is what it is right this is this is disney right the fighting scene looks so amateurish, one could be forgiven for thinking that it's a post-credit behind-the-scenes camera roll. There are two possible explanations for this amateurish effort by Disney. It could be that the fight choreographer didn't know what he or she was doing, though on the face of it, the problem rather appears to be shoddy camera work. At some moments, the reel should have been sped up, and at other angles, the angle's completely off. 
I agree with that too. It, you you could sell something with less impact if you use the camera to make up the impact, right? So if you zoom in at the right moment, if you speed it up at the right moment, if you slow it down, if you stand still at the right moment, everything counts. And unfortunately for this particular scene, it looks like they were trying to go with the whole one shot like kind of scene where they were filming in one take, but that's not actually what happened obviously. But because they were doing that one take style, it really forced it into a thing where like if you're not actually doing proper impact and selling it on screen then it's not going to show up in the camera work it's impossible you can't do that with a one take it's very hard you know they 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 have ways to do it but it's very clear that whoever filmed this didn't have that in their mind it says neither Kira Kelly nor Magdalena Gorka has had extensive cinematography experience with action movies and this clearly shows in the end product well Again, like I said in my last video, they're not hiring people who have experience in whatever they're trying to actually hire them for. Like, they're not hiring people who are fans of the comic books. They're not hiring people who are fans of the IP. They're not hiring people who actually respect the source material. They're not hiring people who even have any related experience to what they're doing. So why would you think that it's going to come out good, right? I would never expect it to come out good at all, considering that the person doesn't have any experience. I'm actually going to pull up the video, and I'll do it slide by slide, but I can't actually play it because if I play it, like I said, I'm going to get caught copyrighted but here we have a slide by slide where you can see <laughs> echo's face is hilarious man look at this thing it's so bad she she literally looks scared to strike this woman who looks scared to strike daredevil right look at how look at the fear in her face literal scared to strike daredevil and meanwhile she's supposed to be keeping up with him somehow some way he just completely misses her and supposedly hits her. I mean, you know, that is what it is. And this kick, of course, knocking down Echo. She flips right back up. It's supposed to be this big, tough scene with Daredevil. She does a whole bunch of kicks, and then they do... Like, everything is missing. That's the funny thing. And Daredevil seemingly outclassing her in the beginning, and somehow she's just able to keep up with stamina, speed, force, and everything. Somehow she's keeping up, but she still gets her butt kick, it seemed like, no matter what. And then the funny thing about all of this is that Echo is keeping up with Daredevil in this fight scene, and after he kind of knocks her down, right, he he knocks her into the fence this dude comes out of nowhere tackles daredevil who is bigger than daredevil it looks like and he just literally like one shots him on the ground and that's it one shots him on the ground <laughs> he one shots the dude on the ground but he's struggling with the 120 pound female who he can literally one shot now this was cool i did like this scene where he's flipping over and she shoots him with a shotgun. I, I thought that was a really cool scene, and I will give them that. So props to that. That was a nice little thing right there. Flip, shotgun shot. I thought that was pretty badass. But everything else literally falls apart. So unfortunately for Echo, it seems like this little leak right here, whether it was intentional or not, it doesn't seem like it's going to actually help the, uh, the TV show whatsoever. It seems like it's probably going to hinder the TV show. But I guess we're going to have to find out when the show eventually does release. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out